treat me the same, like I said, like just working out, working myself, even though I couldn't play last year. One thing I would always do is just keep my, my, myself in the gym and just trying to get better, even though I knew I wouldn't play. But now next year that I know I will be able to play next year. So I'm just, I'm just focused on my game and just kind of develop everything. And, you know, I mean, it feels great just to be back. And I think it'll be two weeks ago f Friday that you found out. What, where were you at when you found out? What were you doing and you, what was your immediate reaction? Or you what? Know, I was, I was just happy. I was just, even though I expect, I, like, I was expecting that, uh, that from the NCAA, but I was happy. I just got to talk to my family about it and just kind of get everything off my shoulder. Scott, Scott told me that he had sent you back to your dorm, said it could be a while. Yeah, he, he told me to go home because might be, they might take a while. So I was, as I was going home, he called me back and said, Siri, you forgot something. And I went back and that was it. Did you have doubts that this was actually going to happen, that you're going to be able to come? I never, I never thought, you know, since day one I knew I didn't do anything and I was innocent, so I was, I was pretty much just kind of relaxed and, well, you know, truth always shows up and we finally did. You, you mentioned talking to your family. I, the last time I talked with you, you said you tried to keep it from your mom. What yeah, was it know, like being able to share when it When all her? that was going on, I, w I would just, like, whenever my mom called and asked me if you have any updates today, I mean, I would, sometimes I wouldn't pick up the phone because I don't, I don't want to tell her what, like, the same answer over and over. So it was just, like, pretty much, no, nah, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk about it. Just talk about something else. But then the day I told her, she she was so happy. I could see she was more excited than I am. <laughs> now you know you get to play. What's, um, what are you feeling now? I mean, are you obviously you're always in the gym, but do you have that – Fire now to really want to come out and prove something. Is there anything you're working on or an aspect of your game that you really want to develop? You know, right now I'm just focused on trying to get my shots better. You know, my 15 footers, for uh, jump, jump shots, and you know, just kind of I'm trying to figure it out and learn what should I like, what should I bring to the team next year. That's pretty much my main focus right now. The KU community and the fans really rallied around you. What did it mean to kind of have their support? You know. I can't thank them enough. You know, they they've been here, they've been here behind me for like since day one. They just always show support and love. So it, this really means a lot to me. Are you glad you don't have to hear Free Silvio anymore? I mean, I'm sure. You <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't tired of it, but you know, uh, at least right now I won't get to hear it. How did you remain so um, so calm, so mature about the whole thing? I mean, a lot of kids could have taken to social media and been really frustrated and um, expressed express that frustration, and you didn't. Why? You know, the truth is what, knowing the truth is what kept, kept me positive. You know, I knew I, I, like, I was innocent, so they won, you know. And so that's why I, my, like, my mindset was just so different, kind of keep myself in, like, in a good position, not like not or feet or something like that to, uh, to the NC, uh, NCA or whatever it was. So I was like, I know I know I didn't do anything and I was innocent since day one, so I was just keep my mind fresh and just kind of take one day at a time. It seemed like your teammates were pretty fired up about the news too. What, what was the best reaction you got? Hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> Mary was just a lot. They were just like happy for me. Everybody called me at once and you know, just kind of celebrate and I was like, you know, can you play next to Doak at the same time? Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't be a problem. You know, we play we play two different two different positions, so it shouldn't be a problem. Are you going to be more like Diedrich was, drift outside, um, shoot? I would. Well, right now that's really what I'm working on my my game on myself. Just kind of get more outside game and and that that be. It. At some point when you found out, was there any, did you get emotional? I mean, just with yourself, was there any point? I mean, you, you carried so much for so long. Was it just almost like a burden had been lifted, or are you just like calm I said, and... I, like I said, the minute I found out, the one thing I felt, it was just like a, like a really hard thing that came off my shoulder, yeah. you know? And it, it felt great. You know, I was just happy. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even be more happy. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I felt. Does it seem real? I mean, you know, first few days it was hard to believe, but then I had to get used to it. It was actually true. Yeah.